here at the Frugal Crafter with a very frugal idea that's kind of fun and mimics a uh, tool that's popular right now. So a couple years ago, I received this for Christmas from my mom. It's a Creative Hot Marks tool, which basically is a girly wood burner. Not that wood burners are boyish, but this was um, kind of a tool marketed to scrapbookers, and it came in a little case with little metal stampers and a hot knife, which I used for actually cutting rubber stamps or foam core for different home decor projects. And it had a bunch of different little tips to go with it. And, um, and you can see I have all this organized in here, but I just grabbed the basic uh, round tip, which I believe is the stencil cutter tip. And you may have a stencil cutter or you may have a wood burner with a very similar tip. And um, it comes with this little cheesy stand, which I do not like. So I'll probably use my soldering stand if I'm going to use this for any amount of time. Uh, but I've got that right there. And then I just took some page protectors. And this one I filled with sequins, just part of a page protector, and sealed it up and made I'm like, oh, that'd be a really cool bookmark. And I, and I drew a little circle with the wood burner. It's all sealed up up there. So I can put some yarn through it. I thought, oh, that's a kind of a fun idea, but it would be also a really great idea for making shaker cards, like the shaker windows, so you don't have to mess with acetate and um, foam and all that stuff. And so for this one, I just took a little scrap of paper and slid it in a page protector and, you know, just sealed along the side and pulled the excess away and then filled it with sequins and sealed up the end. So um, I'm going to show you here with two different cheap office supply page protectors what you can do. Like this one is sealed because it's the edge from, from this here. So you can see I've got actually a long, narrow pocket. So this is good if you want to make your very own custom-sized page protectors out of office or your scrapbooking transparencies. And I tried it with two different kinds, a frosted and a regular, to make sure it works. So here I just basically sealed these little die cuts into this uh, package just to practice. And um, you got to kind of experiment because if you go too quickly with the tool, you're going to get... Um, it's not going to seal. If you go too slowly, it'll it'll kind of seal and slice it. So um, why don't I just... Why don't I do like a vertical pocket and I'll show you how to make like a little shaker window and I'm working on a silicone mat but you could do work on a like a glass tile a gridded glass tile like a one of those glass chess boards would work really well so what I'm going to do is just slowly drag this across now the slower you go the more it's going to cut all the way through and seal the edges if you go moderately slow then it's just going to seal your pockets together and you keep your page protector in one piece so it completely depends on the look you're going for i like working on the silicone because the um the plastic isn't going to stick it may stick to glass but here we've got a nice um sealed pocket i probably i think this would actually pull apart pretty easily if i wanted it to um but see we've got a nice little pocket that we could actually store things in if you want to make like storage for rubber stamps, you want to have it exactly custom, you can do that um, as well. Let's say if you want to, um, if you want to make a pocket that's going to have like an open slot on there, what I would do, um, let's see, let's say like right here, I want to have a divided pocket and I want to be able to op keep it open so I can put like a photo in, like it's a project life. I just slide like a little tile in there or a piece of glass or something, and I would use my knife which I had to grab up my drawer because I totally forgot I wanted to do this, and my ruler, and I would just, <clears throat> excuse me, seal it, uh, just kind of cut a cut a slot here. You don't even have to go all the way. You just got to make sure you at least leave room so that you can get uh, scissors in there later to finish a job if you want to. And then I could put my ruler down, and of course take your time and, you know, do a good job, but I could put my ruler right, right above that, or maybe even a little bit above that if I want to have... Um, if I want to have it even more dramatically sealed, then go fairly slowly with my wood burning tool. And there I've got a pocket that I can open and then this is sealed up above if I want to put something else in there. So it's a great way to make your own custom storage pockets. Now I can go in there with my scissors, which well, I don't know, my little fine tip ones. My, my studio's a mess, by the way. That's why you're just getting a shot of my mat today because holy moly, how you gotta clean. <laughs> I've been so busy. Um, so I can go and finish the deal here, go right up to those edges with my scissors. And there I have a pocket to put something in. I've got this one sealed above. And, um, you know, it's a great way to make more use out of your page protectors. And these are super cheap. You can buy like a box of 100 of these for 20 bucks. Whereas if you buy divided pocket um, pockets for photos or for storing your rubber stamps, even if they're at the office store, it's like, you know, five bucks for a five pack or something so you can really save a lot of money doing this now I, I like this these really crystal clear ones because i can make little shaker windows so this was a big one i've already used some of it but i'm going to pour some sequins in there just to show you how i do it and I, what do i do with my sequins oh i don't know what, hold on let me pause. oh no wait they're right here goodness gracious i almost tipped them over i'm going to pour some sequins in here because you got to put your stuff in first before you seal it and you could put like a scrap of pattern paper in there too if you wanted that background 
You could also do this if you're like um, sharing supplies with friends and you want to like seal up a packet to mail. You could do that too. So there's lots of different ideas. And then I'm just going to put my um, put my ruler down. And I'm, I'm going to go a little slower this time because I want to make sure it seals and cuts. So look, I'm just pulling it slower. Now if you wanted a perforated um, mark, you could kind of just dot it. And the new fuels tool that's come out by We Are Memory Keepers, um, that's got kind of like a, um, oh, can I pull it apart? Hopefully I did that long enough. Yeah. So there, that's all sealed up. And there's no like border or anything. I'm gonna, you could get like a perforated line if you use the fuse tool from We Are Memory Keepers, but if you already have a wood burner, I wouldn't bother with it. I would just use what you have. And I've been excited to try this. I was talking with my friend Kathy about this and whether it would work, what she thought. And I just, I told her I would try it out and see if it worked. And you have to be careful. You have to make sure you do seal it all the way up because if you don't, it might tear. So you wanna make sure that you do go slow enough that it's going to seal it all up good but I mean the possibilities for this are really pretty endless and cool and if you have a wood burner or a creative hot marks tool just gathering dust I think you should give it a try of course you know this is a tool for adults um, it does get very hot and I don't want anyone to get hurt so keep that in mind don't leave it around where pets can get to it make sure you unplug it when you're done but look at that get a, this would be so cute in a shaker card and no, nothing to mess with which I just love so I hope you found this helpful give me a thumbs up and uh, subscribe if you like more quick ideas and um, kind of other ways to use the tools that you invested in because I think that's important to find more than one way to uh, use the tools and I will show you really quick and if you're done if you're, that's all you want to read that's read <laughs> watch you can go but I just wanted to show you what else came with this now this tool here I assume you can still get the creative hot marks. If not, you can get a wood burning kit with a similar with the same tools. They just remarket things to appeal to different audiences. That's why this is turquoise and green and not brown and black. Um, quite frankly, um, so this uh, is a hot knife holder, and you put in any number eleven exacto knife blade, and then you can use it to very easily cut foam core. Like if you wanted to make wall letters or you wanted to make a custom shape, custom bulletin board, it cuts through foam core like butter. It also cuts through your stamp mounting foam really well too. Um, and mine's do for a change, but you have to let it cool before you change the blade. So just be careful whenever you're using any of this stuff. This is just a blunt tool. I think this would work for, for sealing those as well. And I actually think that this one here is actually the sealing. No, the, I don't know. You could use that for cutting and sealing too. Uh, but then there's just different burnishing bits that you'd use for wood burning or for stamping on wood. Um, I don't know if you normally get those, those stamps with your um, with your regular wood burning tools, but that's what they're for. Um, if you want to burn on wood or gourds or paper or whatever. So if you have this tool, break it out, give it a try. It's so much fun. Um, if not, see if you can borrow a wood burner from somebody and see if you like it. And if you do, then, then it would be the time to invest. But wood burners are pretty easy to come by. I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you um, got some ideas of things that you could do either for storage or for fun arts and crafts. And um, until next time, happy crafting.